What's up everybody? We're gonna get right into this today. We have some tempo deadlifts. I'm gonna explain at the end how we're breaking down uh, the weight and the percentage of that. I did recruit somebody today. We got M-Fly in the house, my little brother. He is actually my cameraman for Run2Gun TV. He's gonna be doing a little workout with us today as well. And we're gonna crush this, so let's get right at it. All right, so got our weight built up. Um, did like, I don't know, five or six sets building up. Got up to our working weight. Um, and now what we're gonna do is two reps every minute on their minute for 15 minutes. So it's 30 reps over the course of 20 minutes at a specific percentage of our one rep max. Um, and right now we're going at about 55 to 65%. Matthew's at like, he's more at like 60, 65% of his one rep max. And I'm at about, yeah, 55, 60%. Now over the weeks, that's gonna progress that percentage. So let's get after it. We got a stopwatch started. We'll get this workout started. Here we go. Just call me to tell me that we just got a brand new check in the mail. It never was new to me. I always knew that these haters they want me to fail. I go to I go to do what they do when I hustle the hallway and stay out of jail. They say it ain't rapping if you ain't out trapping. Won't tell me this money ain't real. Hey, I got the sauce, got the sauce, yeah. Hey, I got the sauce, got the sauce, yeah. Hey, I'm out here flexing, never lost, yeah. Hey, I'm out here flexing, never lost, yeah. You get sweat going. It's it's odd because it's not like you're out of breath, tired. It just it just challenges you. Matthew, what'd you think? That was your first time doing that. Uh, it was challenging. I'm yeah. sweaty. Yeah, I'm sweaty too. Let's finish. We're just gonna finish the day with some fun stuff. Just gonna do a little biceps, triceps. Why? Because it's fun. Let's hit it. Oh, Tell it stories. <laughs> Tell it stories. Slow up. Flex. Slow it up. Flex on them. Slow it down. Flex. Flex on them. Yeah. Slow it up. Flex. Slow it up. Flex on them. Slow it up. I'm gonna flex. We're gonna flex in this bone. Popping in bands. Popping in bands. Popping in bands. Get to the slash Come on. Yep. Push the boot out of you, rap for a hobby, you pushing infinity, cool. Slow up. 
flex on them. Slow it down. Flex, flex on them. Flex. Slow it up. Flex. Slow it up. Flex on them. Slow it up. I ain't got no flex. We got no flex in this one. day today with the deadlifts and a little bit of arms at the end just for fun because if you do deadlifts like that you deserve that little fun at the end so you get a little seat you got to see the last three days right day one day two day three and you notice that there's legs built in to every single one of those days so actually going in today I had to warm up really well because my hamstrings and my glutes were already really shot from the last two days so I had to warm up really well going into the deadlifts so I'm safe I really had to activate my core activate my glutes before going into it um, felt really good though, I was really fatigued by the end because of the previous two days. But that is the point as I'm conditioning my body and just getting it prepared for a backcountry hunt. So in the past when I've done these bigger hunts like this, this is exactly what I do. I get my body conditioned and trained and prepared for the same type of rigors day in and day out. And so my muscles really get used to being challenged day in and day out. So when you hit the mountain, if you're only doing legs once a week, or bi-weekly spread out, you're gonna get sore up on the mountain or your likelihood of getting sore, depending on your fitness level, is gonna be greater, okay? So how I do this is I hit them several days in a row like this uh, without break to get them very conditioned and ready to rock. So they're not surprised, my body's not surprised when I hit the mountain, it's just like a normal week of training. Now, you're gonna see another change up tomorrow as we go in to the training session. Um, I actually have some additional stretching and a little conditioning yet tonight I'm gonna show you, but uh, you're gonna see another change up tomorrow. So stay on here, got a little bit more to show you. It was a good strength session. Got some conditioning now tonight. All right, out of the track. Gonna hit a little family cardio. I don't know how intense this is gonna get, but we're gonna have some fun together. Get the body moving a little bit. We've had three good workout days here in a row, first three days. Hello. Eva's ready to do some runs. She said she needs to work on her speed, right? You said you've lost your speed? Yes. So you said tonight? I still got a little bit run left. Yep, you got a little bit of run left. So let's get these in. We'll finish the day. All right, you guys ready for the first one? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we got some more to go. We're just getting started for the night, but 
you guys get the gist. A little family fun cardio night. Let the kids run a little, little bit, burn off some energy, and just get our body a little extra movement. A little fun on a beautiful summer night. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you tomorrow.